Hey guys, it's Ross Scott and on the Space Couch today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing this, which I'd actually forgotten to unbox from one of my previous trips up to Sunderland. Not the last one, I think the one before. I said I'd completely forgotten about this and I was looking for the Luke Skywalker figure um, the other day when I realised I hadn't done the actual unboxing. So I figured it's about time we did this. So it's Luke Skywalker in his Return of the Jedi outfit, Emperor Palpatine and one of the Imperial Guards. So let's just open this up and bring them out. It is quite a nice um, backing that it has. <clears throat> there are the figures, I'll just show you the backing. <clears throat> little diorama of the throne room on the uh, second Death Star. So that's very nice. So, just another look at these. Palpatine with his angry hands. <laughs> so let's bring out Luke. And his green lightsaber. Not bad castings and from the side of the hair and of the face. Now on this version, um, it's fully buttoned up, but obviously as the film went on, it would slowly be um, pulled back to reveal not white, but grey underneath, signifying that he was moving away from the dark side temptations. But it's just very nice, and obviously the glove on his robot hand. And there he looks like he's doing some sort of Jedi mind trick type of action. But yes, very nice. You see he also has... Bit difficult to turn the side because it's black on black is always difficult. He has the um, belt and there's a little pouch there for him. So let's just have a little look at his green lightsaber. Very nice. I'm always so impressed with the amount of detail they managed to get onto these tiny little things. <laughs> Although they're always kind of a bit bent, the lightsabers, aren't they? So let's just pop that in his hand. There he is, ready to cross swords with Darth Vader. So, let's just pop him on there. Oh, look at the state of the feet there. You put that one back down, he should stand. Sometimes it's the lightsaber overbalances them. But his feet are quite poor in this. I have to give him a wide stance, I think. Can we stand on... Yeah, he'll stand on there. He won't stand on the DVD box. So, I believe and stand on there. Luke Skywalker, Jedi Master, cannot stand properly. Uh, maybe that. I'm leaving him. I'm not taking any more chances with that. And now let's have a look at the Imperial Guard with his Force Pike. I do have an Imperial Guard, but it was an unboxed one, and um, it was missing the cape. And the helmet would actually come off to reveal someone who did, so I assume it was one of the uh, Legends uh, Guards. So let's have a look. That classic design, that's such a menacing helmet. And then we see, yes, this is the same as the other figure. This is soft plastic, so reveals underneath. I don't think that will come off. No, that won't come off. So we see his arms there and the other one here to hold the force pike. It's just, it's actually kind of more menacing now somehow. So let's pop that in. If I can find it, where have I put it? Here it is. has his force pike to battle Luke Skywalker with and we saw the use of the force pikes in Star Wars Rebels how I'm not quite sure how it works in universe but it's like force manipulation because they have Ezra up in the air while they're attacking him but yes very nice this figure shiny shiny yeah I always thought that was such an amazing design the Imperial Royal Guard and now Palpatine himself with his knobbly cane, and I do have this on the other figure as well that I got. <laughs> so let's just have a look at him. Oh, this is very nice. The feel of this, it's um, very interesting. It's like plasticky rubber, but it just feel you can feel the indentations and the marks on the actual uh, cloak. So there you just see 
his undergarment there. And is he just like one of those like big thick legs? Let's see. Yes. So that's his leg. <laughs> which actually you can make out his leg in there, which is interesting enough. I assume the other one is the same. Yes, he's doing the can can now. <laughs> so that's interesting. That little bit of detailing. But yes, the fantastic long sleeves that he has and his twisted hands. So. Um, they will come off because he's got his force lightning hands, hasn't he? Uh, what will I do with this for now? I won't do anything with the stick for now. Let's just see his face there. Does it come back at all? No. That evil face. <laughs> so where are his terror hands? Again, I'm not sure if his hands will overbalance him or not, but he's got quite thick, sturdy base for his legs, so maybe not. Let's just have a look. The force lightning coming out. Very nice. And there's the pin for it to go in. So, yeah. Okay, so let's see. I've never actually removed the hands before. That's that one out. one oh his hand fell off <laughs> put that one out as well let's just try this again maybe it wasn't in very securely move that out of the way so I've got the other one in And there he is. And that's how he goes out when he's falling down the shaft. But yes, very nice, this design, for him to attack Luke Skywalker. So let's just move the guard out of the way. And there he is, attacking Luke Skywalker. Although he doesn't need that much attacking because he's going to fall over at any second because his feet aren't right. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, very nice little three pack. I'm very happy with it. Can't remember what I paid for it. It was like a tenner or less, I believe, which is why I picked up. I think the entertainer, but I can't be certain now. It will have been in whatever video I was recapping my purchases from that trip. I expect. So yes, very very nice. All three of these. Very happy with them. I'll try it one last time to stand him up here because Palpatine will go fine. I'm going to just pop this lightsaber down and then just use that as a kind of, uh, yeah, so that will help him balance. And there is the Imperial Guard as well. So, yes, that's a great little three pack from Return of the Jedi. This is the only figure I didn't have previously, although I didn't have the hands for Palpatine. And the other little one of these I had was missing the actual cloak, although I've got the six inch Black Series version as well but yeah great figures all of them classic movie classic characters can't wait to see um what they make of him in the rise of skywalker i just hope it doesn't diminish his prior appearances but we'll just have to wait and see and we can just have this at the back perhaps <laughs> there you go guys the emperor in his throne room with luke skywalker who he's trying to attend his new apprentice and one of his red guards i hope you enjoy Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content. And leave me a comment or suggestion for a common topic you'd like to see discussed or like the video.